The Light 95.9 Excited. Boy, am I excited. We're just so blessed to have with us uh, Jody Salvo. And Jody is, uh, she is the uh, Director of Substance Abuse uh, Prevention Services in New Philadelphia. And a big event is coming up on September the 27th, Hope Sunday, Be the Hope. And I know you're excited, Jody. so tell us all about this event coming up. Jim, first, thank you for having me on today. And I really just want to share with the Christian community um, this exciting event. This is the third year the Coalition has partnered with many agencies, organizations in Tuscarawas County. We work closely with T4C, Tuscarawas County for Churches, um, this year as well. Um, And what Hope Sunday is, it's September 27th this year. It's an opportunity that we present issues that are occurring in our community and take it in front of the local church and, and, and kind of to create some awareness of what some of these issues look like, but then to say, hey, church, you have the one true hope. You have the solution to these community problems and issues, and man, do we need each person of faith to step into these which I will say opportunities, that uh, they're hard, they're tough situations, but that God has allowed us to walk into and to love others and be the light in our local communities. So this year, um, our video, I just got to see it yesterday, and man, I'm super excited. Um, It's called Looking Up, and it's a video that shares a couple people's stories, struggle with mental health issues and addiction, definitely in the midst of COVID. I mean, so when you look at the video, you'll see the people, they'll talk about thoughts of suicide, they'll portray drinking and addiction, um, but they also bathe it in um, this time of isolation, of loss that came with the pandemic. And as you watch the movie, it takes you into people are really expressing the desperation they're feeling. And then you see, and, and it just looks like people from the church coming alongside of them. That's incredible. It It is. is, It is so fun. You'll hear a challenge of, you know, we don't need to preach to anybody. We just need to reach out and love on people. And you know what? And they will see Christ in us. Mm -hmm. And that's what will pull them closer to him or um, into a relationship with Christ. And even in the video, at one point, a young lady's talking about the shame she feels, you know, like, I can't go to church, I'm high, or I can't go to church, I'm sleeping with someone outside of marriage, you know, and you feel the shame, and yet she comes to, but that's exactly where I need to be. Um, So it's just a wonderful portrayal of what people struggle with and and how Satan binds us up and tells us lies and, and, and keeps us from Christ in our shame or whatever we're feeling. And the video just challenges people of faith to to just reach out, you know, to realize this is hard for a lot of people. Life is hard for a lot of people, but it's particularly hard in isolation with COVID, with the losses people have. Um, So anyway, Hope Sunday is September 27th, and this is the third year that we've done this. The first year we engaged, I think we had 75 participating churches in Tuscan Carroll. Last year we had over 100 and I think we're up to about 120 right now. We're going to start packing bags to send out to churches actually tomorrow. So each church, um, and we actually invite all churches to join in Hope Sunday. And if you say, yep, we'd like to participate, we provide a, the short video, which is only about four minutes. Um, we provide bulletins, which um, have prayer requests on the issues of concern, of focus. And then it also provides information on resources in the county. So that's super important that even if it's not for yourself, if you see somebody struggling, um, a family, a neighbor, a friend, a coworker, you can even just give them the bulletin. Say, hey, here are the community resources in our area. It gives you phone numbers if you want faith-based resources. Um, so it, it just has nice little information. And there's some other things the church is receiving a packet from drug deactivation bag. So if a pastor is visiting um, persons, maybe after a hospital procedure to say, hey, you know, when you're done with your opioid medications, you know, feel free to properly dispose this way. It also has a flyer about another upcoming initiative that we're going to have in October. Um, 
and another way that people of faith can just walk into the opportunities before us to love on people in the midst of very difficult times. Um, so anyways, Hope Sunday is just a really neat way to bring the church and the community issue together. And as a community leader, I, I absolutely know our one true hope, the solution to our issues, is through Jesus Christ. And that's why I love speaking to the Light FM, because I know our listeners are there. And I know when people of God have a call to action, and um, I just know we, we can change our communities. We can change our young people's lives, our families' lives, and our community. I want to go back to what you said earlier. Uh, you were talking about uh, the four-minute video, and there were testimonies. I think you see that every day. I do. You know, and, and this is, an, I mean, to love, more than anything, we can't fix it. We can't do anything about it. We can walk beside them yep. and just say, we are here for you. We have no idea what these people are going through. No. I can't imagine what it's like. You know what? Um, the guy that's actually on the video, I know this is probably a lot of detail for radio. Um, yeah. The Anti-Drug Coalition, we do weekly podcasts. And... Our last week's podcast was on his recovery story, and I almost want every single community member to listen to his podcast. How do they do that? What do they um, do? If you go to the Tuscarawas County Anti-Drug Coalition Facebook page, just scroll down. The very first video you'll see is on a faith-based recovery um, group that's meeting. That's the first one. But if you go down to last week's, and I don't know the date on that, it'll say Richard Miller, mm -hmm. and it'll be his recovery story. But I am a firm believer that a lot of times people of faith might not be as active in some of these issues because you just don't know what to do with them. Like, if you do not know someone that has struggled with addiction, it is so foreign in your head. Like, it's yeah, really hard yeah. to understand how can someone be so bound up by an addiction. Mm -hmm. But it's not until you hear some of these stories that you get it. And once you get it, and you get a little more comfortable walking in this world a little bit, in this, you know, issues of substance use and mm -hmm. um, maybe mental health issues, then you start to understand um, what addiction is, how it can happen, and how Christ is the solution. Because honestly, if you go into recovery groups and you see people in recovery, I would say Nine out of ten times people come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in their recovery process. So it's a place where, man, faith in Jesus Christ is well accepted. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's commonplace for people struggling with addiction to hear about who Jesus Christ is. Um, but it's also a commonplace to relapse and have mm -hmm. struggles and everything else. But this young man, if you go look at his um, video, he was raised in a family of 17 kids. Wow. It was a, his dad was married 13 times. Oh, my. The older men that were his siblings that were brought in his house aggressively sexually assaulted him. He was then on the streets at 14. And when you, read, you listen to the story, it helps you understand, okay, substances were used to self-medicate mm -hmm. the things that he couldn't cope with, nor did he have the people or the resources in place. Now, the story is beautiful, and, man, it's not been easy. Mm. No. He still struggles okay. daily, but his solution has come in Christ. And I've had the privilege of knowing him for a long time, and I can just see what Christ is doing. And when you listen to the podcast, you'll, you'll get, at this point, he knows Christ is his solution. And he'll just freely talk about, now let me tell you about God, or let me tell you what yes. God has done. Mm. And I think for Christians to hear that, it then goes, oh, my goodness, we are needed in this yeah, battle, yeah. you know, um, and, and God has a great place for us. And it is through, you know, offering people hope, loving mm -hmm. on people, pointing people to Christ, you know, that is how we heal our communities, or that is yeah. how Christ heals our communities. You know, I don't know, how, I'll just ask you, I mean, it's not like a tough love, is it? I mean, just to love them as they are. But exactly. That's, that's what I get. That's what I hear you saying. Because yep. I think if you use tough love, they're just going to say, you know what? No. Yeah. I, I mean, you might turn them off. I don't know. That's that's what I Yeah, get. there is no judgment that <laughs> yeah, ever needs right. to come out of one of our okay. hearts or minds or anything. Mm -hmm. It is honestly, um, I, it's a challenge for people to understand addiction a little bit. So yeah. to get some education and, you know, I can steal your, steal, mm -hmm. steer people to a ton of resources. Yeah. But once you understand it a little bit, 
It is just loving on people. Because what happens when you're really in the muck and mire of addiction? You don't want to be there. No one ever wants to be addicted to a substance. Mm -hmm. And everything you thought you would never do or become happens, you know, because you have to get your drugs. So you steal, you lie, you know, all these things that don't define who you are, but it's the actions that you take to meet your addiction, to fulfill what your brain feels it needs. So then you feel this shame and this mm-hmm. fuck and you're not worthy and you're not valued and, mm-hmm. and people are looking at you to a different way. Um, that then creates that barrier to get true healing. Right. You know, and when you watch the Hope Sunday video, you'll hear the woman like, I can't go to church. Like, I'm right. living this lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And the opposite is so true that, that followers of Christ right. need to just put our arm around and say, you know what? You're a child of God. Amen. And, you are. And that yes. stuff does not define who you right. are. You are his. And, and we love you, and Christ loves you. And this does not have to be who you are or the place you're going to live in or be mm. stuck in. You know what I mean? Yes. You just have intrinsic uh, right. value. How can, we, how can we pray for this event? You know what? Um, man, there's, there's a lot of ways. I think the first one is that churches are willing to just engage with Hope Sunday Mm -hmm. because I think the more people that see the video and receive the prayer requests, um, I think the more that it will just be in our heart to love differently. And I I know one does that better than the church, but I do think it's a great tool to start that. And the resources can be done whether it's an in-person service Mm -hmm. or an online. So we'll provide all the resources so you can virtually show it or in person. I would also say go listen to the podcast Mm -hmm. um, after September 27th, listen to the Hope video and share it. Like the information that we put out there, share. Share the bulletin, Mm -hmm. share the video. Um, And I'll tell you another one that's fun. If it really is on your heart, call me. And one of the things I might say to you is, you know what? Would you want to come to a recovery group with me? There now, I am not in addiction, mm-hmm. but I started going to a recovery group um, a couple weeks ago because someone had asked me, and it has been probably one of the more fun experiences I've done in a that's, long time. That's great. Uh, is there a phone number? or how they, What do they have to do to get more information? You know what? Call me. It's 330-440-4400. Okay. Or you can go to the Tuscarawas County Anti-Drug Coalition mm-hmm. website, which is adctusk.org. You can also type in, hey, Jody, give me a call. Right. Um, or you can go to um, Tuscarawas County Anti-Drug Coalition Facebook page and Great. message me there. So right. any of those yes, ways, okay. well. um, we can get you information for your church. We can okay. get information for you personally, um, answer any questions, or also share community resources with you. All right. That's great. I really appreciate this. Uh, Jody Thanks, Salvo, Director of Substance Use Prevention Services. Be the Hope, uh, September 27th. Thank you. Blessings to you. Thank you. Thanks, Jim.